What's going on, everyone? Hope everybody's having a great Friday, TGIF. If you're new here and this is the first time you're viewing one of my videos, thank you for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, also thank you for stopping by. Thanks for stopping out, checking out my content. That's the best way to support me and the channel to check out my videos. Uh, before you go though, please leave a comment down below, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now on with the show. Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's been the biggest story in the gaming space the last couple of months due to the simple fact that Ubisoft, who, you know, before Assassin's Creed Shadows, when they put out an Assassin's Creed game, pretty well stayed historically accurate with uh, the people in the game, the settings, um, so on and so forth. Well, this time they went full DEI. And that's the reason why all the controversy with Assassin's Creed Shadows. See, they took uh, an individual who they describe as from Africa. So he's a person of color. And made him a full samurai in feudal Japan. Now, if you go back a couple months ago, the trailer that was released has been ratioed to death. In fact, when you look at the trailer, you see 293,000 likes to 782,000 dislikes. Ouch. That's a big ouch. So let's fast forward, shall we? This is from Fandom Pulse. Ubisoft stock tanks as Assassin's Creed Shadow suffers massive PR problems among Japanese gamers. Yeah, that's right. The Japanese didn't take too well to the fact that you have a person of color, um, the, one of the two main protagonists in the game, uh, por portraying a full-fledged samurai in feudal Japan. Assassin's Creed as a brand looks to be dead as Ubisoft is in full panic mode. Ubisoft so stock has tanked this week with Assassin's Creed Shadows controversy boiling to new heights. The French video game company has received a huge backlash from the gaming community, particularly the Japanese gaming community, since the revelation that the main protagonist in the new Assassin's Creed is Yasuki, which Yasuki did really exist according to historical records and documents who is portrayed as a real-life black samurai in the game. To make matters worse, it has been revealed that the game's protagonist, Yasuke, will be open to LGBTQ relationships during gameplay. In other words, like I said before, full-blown DEI. Now, the criticism just isn't coming from gamers who started the Change.org petition with nearly 95,000 signatures to remove Assassin's Creed Shadows from production because of its historical inaccuracies. But in Japan, three different ministries, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, and the Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry have all, um, well, let's just say it's been brought to their attention. Now, due to the backlash, the development team at Ubisoft put out an official statement claiming that they have received many positive reactions, but also some criticism, including from your Japanese players. The statement proceeds with a long explanation of why they did what they did. The explanation is four pages. I'm not going to bore you with the four pages, but what I'm going to point out is, is that their stock because of all this, that being Ubisoft stock has uh, dropped, dropped more than 10% just one week ago on July 19th which by the way, also put the stock at a five-year low and share prices have remained low since the initial drop. Now, when you look at the statement that they put out, as in the article here states, it is easy to understand why it failed to stop the shares from tanking 
It's not an admission that they messed up and they will fix it. Instead, they doubled down on their disrespectful approach to Japanese history and culture by claiming that they have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful, respectful representation of feudal Japan. And that their intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, as factual representations of history or historical characters. They further justified making the main protagonist a black gay man, killing native Japanese by saying that they have extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan. Who are these people that they collaborated with? consulted with i would like to know as others would probably like to know because this does not sound like they consulted with historians researchers at all this sounds like they got with one of those game developers or game um game consultation companies like sweet baby inc to go full dei within the game to modernize feudal japan that's what it sounds like to me. That's my opinion. You can comment down below if you think that's what's happened or if you think otherwise. Now, let's turn our attention to the media, shall we, real quick. The media doesn't like the fact that the Japanese gamers have taken offense to a person of color portraying a samurai in feudal Japan. In fact, Verge reporter... Ash Parrish accuses Japanese society of being violently racist amid backlash against Assassin's Creed Shadows. Wow. So, let me get this straight. Ubisoft takes liberties with the story in the game, inserting a person into the game that shouldn't be there, and by stating that it's highly offensive that they did that is racist. I guess what up is down and down is up. Parrish reacted to the Ubisoft statement writing on X, you all can quibble about if he was a samurai or whose swords he was allowed to carry. He was there. Everything else should be allowed to be artistic license. None of this is about historical accuracy. You just hate black people and use Japanese folks as a convenient shield. Um. No. The Japanese have taken offense to what Ubisoft has done to their culture, to their history. Taking offense to their culture and their history isn't a sign of racism. So stop, please. You're boring. Crying racism doesn't work anymore. Somebody should tell that to Alyssa Mercante, by the way. She wrote an article out there on Kotaku where she, where she writes, this was never about anything other than hate. Movements for ethics in games journalism or against forced DEI in video games are diaph diaphanous, diaphanous veils draped over bigotry. So again... If you're of Japanese descent and you take offense to what Ubisoft has done with Assassin's Creed Shadows, you're a bigot. Never mind the fact that it's not historically accurate. So Kotaku editor Alyssa Makante puts out on X, maybe just say your racist response to a video game is indicative of moral decay, get bent instead of this. Really? Somebody needs to tell Alyssa to get bent. Just saying. She writes in her article, or declares in her article, a fledgling but ferociously loud group, or ferociously loud group of gamers will tell you that Assassin's Creed Shadows backlash is about respecting Japanese culture or refusing to accept woke ideologues that are being forced into their games by consulting groups who, no, who hold no real power. Is that really a true statement? These consulting groups don't hold any real power? Go back and search out Sweet Baby Inc. CEO and some of the statements she said. 
But just like in 2014, during the first full-throated iteration of Gamergate, this was never about anything other than hate. Mercante supports the, this claim, writing that the responses to Ubisoft's post were exactly what you'd expect. Racist images, slurs, and calls for historical accuracy in a video game series that has always been steeped in science fiction. An unpublished community note, a feature frequently used by users to add context to post, reads Assassin's Creed N-Word Squire. So... You could add Alyssa Mercante to the list of people that think the Japanese people are bigoted because they want historic accuracy in a game set in feudal Japan. Not only that, but we have the inverse. Tyrone Dowd. Assassin's Creed developers didn't have to explain their game. Ubisoft Japes just gave the worst people on the internet ammunition. They write, rather than ignore ignoramuses who claim Shadow's black protagonist is part of a larger sinister diversity effort in gaming, developer Ubisoft Quebec acknowledged these fraudulent concerns in a recent statement. While the developer isn't changing course from its decision to split the game's narrative between Japanese Shinobi Naoe and African Samurai Yasuke, it particularly handed those bad actors a fake victory in a cultural battle that doesn't exist in the first place. Well, if it doesn't exist, why are you guys writing about it? Waiting for an answer. If it doesn't exist, why is this reporter calling the Japanese people racist? Why is Alyssa Mercante at Kutako calling them bigots? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? I mean, my take on this is, is I'm with the Japanese people in this regards. I think they have every right to complain. I think they have every right to demand better from Ubisoft. And yeah, this was done by Ubisoft in conjunction with one of those gaming narrative companies to insert somebody into the game that shouldn't be there in that time period. So what do you guys think about all this brouhaha that's gone on about Assassin's Creed Shadows? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, share this video out there with your friends and family, and with that, I will see you guys later.